Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a review of this new foundation by Too Faced. It is the Born This Way Absolute Perfection Foundation. And I've been trying this out over the past couple days. It's kind of been the perfect week to try out a new foundation because it has really been putting it to the test. We're in the middle of a heat wave here in Philly and it's been 90 degrees and up every single day and not to mention really intense humidity so it pretty much feels like I'm walking around underwater every single day. It's so... Ugh. So like I said, I definitely put this product to the test for sure. I didn't know that much about it um, when I started trying it out. I actually learned a lot more about the ingredients and things like that when I went to sit down to film this video so that I could tell you guys more about it. Uh, but the first thing that I noticed that um, I don't know if anybody else noticed too, it kind of reminded me of the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation because I gathered that it was meant to be more of a luminous finish and it just, the bottle itself really looks like the Luminous Silk, but um, I do like the bottle a lot. It's frosted glass. It's really pretty. I thought it was going to be one of these types of foundations, but it actually does have a pump, which earned it immediate bonus points in the packaging department for me because it just makes applying it so much easier. There's a lot of colors and shades to choose from, which is awesome because I believe there's 12 or so, which just increases the chances that you're going to find one that's going to match your skin. And I feel like I really did. The one that I'm wearing or going to be applying today is Natural Beige. So just a few more tidbits about this product before I actually apply it to my face. So it's meant to be an undetectable medium to full coverage and Too Faced says that 98% of people that tried it said that this foundation made their skin look absolutely perfect. Let's just take a moment. That's pretty crazy and the thing that I thought was cool were the ingredients. So it's infused with coconut water to delicately replenish skin's moisture levels, alpine rose to brighten skin's appearance and promote elasticity. I have a hard time saying that word, and hyaluronic acid for a smoother, more youthful appearance. So why don't we get this foundation on and see what it looks like. I already applied my moisturizer earlier today when I got out of the shower because after that my skin is just like and I have to put on a moisturizer right away. And I use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. This one is a little bit more hydrating than the water gel, but I like both of them a lot. It's for extra dry skin, and mine has been really dry since I got back from vacation. It always happens when I travel. I almost always use a primer when I'm applying a liquid foundation because I feel like it really helps to have a barrier down so that your foundation doesn't sink into the texture of your skin, like, you know, fine lines, pores, things like that so this one is one of my favorites it's the Corez quercetin and oak anti-aging face primer so I like to dot about half a pea size amount of that on my face and because I've also been breaking out a lot due to my travel schedule I'm going to avoid touching my face at all costs at this point and I'm going to use this real techniques brush it is a stippling brush just to kind of blend that primer around my face and I don't want to rub it in as much as just smooth it across the skin. So then I'm going to take the Born This Way foundation and I'm going to probably do about two pumps. So I have been using these brushes by BH Cosmetics to blend this product in. I feel like they're a little bit fluffier than the one I'm going to use today, so it works really well with this type of a consistency, something that's more on the thinner side, not like a really heavy duty foundation. And these work so well for this and they're really inexpensive, so I love these um, because they're kind of on the dirtier side today. I'm going to be using this one by Sigma. This is an F84 angled kabuki brush. Okay, so I'm just going to start. Blending that into the skin, again I'm using downward strokes. I don't really want to mush the product around. Sometimes rubbing a foundation into the skin too much can actually look, you think you're really blending it in, but it looks more uneven than just kind of dabbing at it. So I think right away you can really, I should have done one side of the face and then the other, but um, I think you can pretty much tell from all of my redness and everything the kind of coverage this has. It has amazing coverage. The one thing I was worried about was it being too shiny, too dewy, or end up gre looking greasy. And you can kind of tell from the start, it's not an overly dewy looking foundation. 
So you can really see how great the coverage is. Those two pumps are pretty much covering any imperfections that I have on this half of my face. <laughs> I'm pretty fair, but I just got back from California and I've been self tanning. So natural beige. It's pretty much a perfect dead on match for my skin tone at the moment. So I feel like it's definitely not going very far out on a limb to say that this product does really make your skin look awesome all around. Kind of checks off all the boxes for me with coverage and the finish and the texture issue. Like it doesn't accentuate lines or pores or anything like that. And the other thing is that I can see why it's called Born This Way. It does look very natural. Sometimes with other foundations you need a little bit more skin enhancement to make it look normal. You really have to put all the pieces together and finish the rest of your makeup. And sometimes with other products until that point I feel like I personally look like an alien when I'm looking in the mirror until I get my brows in lashes or you know mascara and everything else on like that so with this I don't feel like it looks that odd just the foundation I mean I can see where it looks really natural It'd be the type of product you could easily pair with a few other things you know mascara lip gloss and call it a day it doesn't look really really matte or it doesn't look really really shiny so um, I do like that about it I think it looks again just all around pretty fantastic on my skin going to finish my makeup up. Oh, finish my makeup up. I'm going to go finish up my makeup so you guys can see what this product looks like with all of the pieces of the puzzle together and the finished look. And voila, makeup is done. I try not to do the most with my makeup so you could still see my skin and what the foundation looks like on my skin. And this is the fourth time now that I've applied this and it's definitely sealed the deal. I love this product, especially because, you know, when I'm just doing my makeup at home like when I'm gonna go out with my friends or something like that obviously I don't have all of these lights turned on and sometimes when I do have these turned on when I'm filming I can see little like hyper pigmentation spots that start to come through my foundation maybe you can't even really see it in person but it's just kind of a little gauge and a little test that I use to see you know how much coverage a product really does have and I'm honestly not seeing any of that with this foundation today even under these bright lights it looks pretty dang even. I am very, very impressed. I do have normal to combination skin, so for me, this foundation is going to last a good solid five hours without feeling like I absolutely need a touch-up. After that, I would say, you know, the coverage really lasts a long time. So if I was going to touch up, it would probably just to minimize any little shine that was peeking through, that kind of thing. It wouldn't be to, like, replace a ton of coverage or to try to even my foundation back out. So I would just use the powder that I used to set it today. And I've been loving this, too. It's the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Tinted Pressed Finishing Powder. <laughs> it's a mouthful. And the shade I've been using is Tan. And I really like this powder a lot. I think it's a good match for this foundation. I wanted to include this in the beginning of the video, but I forgot. I believe it's $39 for one fluid ounce. Again, I really, really love this. And um, I've been testing it out in very extreme conditions. So I'd imagine when it's not 150 degrees outside, it would be even more amazing. So again, the Too Faced Born This Way Absolute Perfection Foundation gets too big thumbs up for me and I hope this review I was gonna say I hope this foundation I hope this review was helpful to you guys and thank you so much for checking it out and I will see you guys very soon in my next video bye <laughs>